What is up everybody, Mark Pretorius here today. We're doing a little bit of an Insta meet, a meet up for photographers and models alike, trying to build portfolios, trying to just kind of get ahead of the game. Well, our meet up place is right at the back there. It's called Craft. And I'm gonna take you guys through a little step of portrait photography with the models and other photographers. And I'm gonna show you some behind the scenes shoots and then I'm gonna show you guys how to edit these photos to make them stand out. And hope you guys have a wonderful day because it's damn cold out here and hope you guys are appreciating this because really I'd rather be in bed. It's about 6, 6.30 around here and it's cold and I woke up in the dark. I just really wanna be in bed. So, Let's get started. And for all you, those who say camera work is easy, this is Chad on the damp floor in the middle of the road, risking his life. Come to the damp pavement! <laughs> That's Ben over there. <laughs> okay guys, we're currently shooting inside Hudson Burger Joint in Parkhurst. And they've kindly allowed us to shoot inside the establishment, as long as we provide them with some of the photos for their advertising. So, that's pretty cool. At the moment, you will, I'll show you, but Devon is kind of shooting the model there, trying to get her hair looking fantastic. Um, so you're going to point your chin out, and then just half for this one, let's see what that looks like. I came back and I was looking This is Ben you. bitching. What's happening? Bitching <laughs> <laughs> Ben, not Ben bitching. Okay, it's bitching Ben. And that's Chad. Hi Chad. Follow his YouTube channel. Yes, my name is Chad Ruth. Okay, it's Chad Ruth for all of you that didn't hear that. <laughs> really girlish plugin that he just made. <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be right here guys. Gonna be yeah, gonna be This is the wonderful person that's allowed us to shoot in here today. Yes. Bigger things to worry about. <laughs> Bigger things to worry about than photos. <laughs> <laughs> Malcolm, what are you aiming for? Capture like a moment between them, like some natural, something organic. Yeah, something organic. Something not posing. Something that actually feels like something. Exactly. Cool stuff, man. Okay, guys. So this is. The craft meetup for the Insta meet. So far, you've seen a lot of footage of a lot of models doing a lot of things. Um, I'll show you guys some of my pictures that I've taken today. I can't obviously film and take pictures at the same time, but it's been stellar. It's been a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I'll show you guys some of the location, and it's been a time. It's been a time. And um, and one of the the guys who organised this whole thing is Ben. Now Ben. A really cool friend he has an awesome portfolio and he's just a damn fantastic instagrammer uh, he's been teaching me so I can up my instagram game okay guys everybody's details that you have seen today will be in the description um, give us all a follow and maybe join us on the next insta meet link will be on my facebook page or I'll even post it on my instagram youtube's not really meant for that stuff <laughs> but it was awesome having you guys with us here today.
Awesome guys, that wraps up the Insta Meet for the day. We have had such a time hanging out with Devin, Ben, Chad, I'll, and Malcolm. I'll link all of these guys' Instagrams and YouTube pages down below in the description box below. And thank you Ben for hosting this awesome event. It was really a fun time. And thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Now we're gonna head up to the Photoshop lab and I'm gonna show you guys how I edit my portrait photo and without further ado let's head to studios Okay, so guys, uh, let's take a look at how the photos came out first, and um, yeah. Then we're going to decide which one we're going to edit, and I'll show you guys a little bit of what I do in my photo productions, and yeah, it's going to be awesome. Okay, let's firstly just up the image size on this because it's very difficult to tell which ones are really crisp and really nice to edit. Um, obviously when you take photos you kind of already know which ones you really want to edit so I kind of already have an idea of what I want to do. So let's see. Okay, cool. I dig this one. Let's open it up in Photoshop and let's take it a little bit further. Okay, so guys, Photoshop has got this awesome thing. It's got that little auto button you see there, and it really does a fantastic job. Um, if you click it, it will drop down the highlights and bring out the shadows a little bit, giving you more information to work with. Um, I use it just to kind of get a nice baseline because it really does a great job at it, and I'm really impressed of how well it does what it does and it's just really a fantastic tool so let's start with that. Now, as you can see it's already bumped up the brightness now normally you'd say oh no this is terrible it's just a little bit too bright a little bit looks too faded but remember you first have to break the photo a little bit and then you get to kind of play and experiment and really just bump it up a little bit further like this is not really bad base to start with and it looks really nice um, yeah so I'm just gonna push up the contrast a bit more because I don't like it being that faded out. Um, highlights, I kind of like it that low. Shadows, yeah let's bring out, so bring up the shadows a bit, get some detail of that jacket and the hair. Um, clarity, I always like to bump up, nobody really likes it, I like to bump it up a tiny bit, not too much and yeah let's get started. So already as you can see we have a really nice picture. Now the way I start doing is I like working in layers. So first I don't like tampering with the background layer whatsoever. It just it once you start doing something to your image it can be destructive and it, you know you always want to come back to where it was in the beginning. You don't really want to edit further and or try and edit it backwards. Rather make a copy of your background layer and then hide it. So after you've hidden your background layer, let's now let's get started with the real image. So what I like to do is now this image already looks really nice. I can't complain about it already, but I like a little bit more vibrance, a little bit more punchiness. So I like to make three duplicates. First one, I go and I do a Gaussian blur filter, and normally I do it around five. Let's see. Just a little subtle blur, 
Round five is good. You can go anywhere between three and five is perfect. It is fantastic. It looks really nice afterwards, and I'll show you why. So already now, now the image looks a little bit faded, and you're like, ah, don't like it that much. But bear with me. It's gonna it's gonna get way better. So I like to choose this and do a soft light. Now, see that already just brings the punchiness. Now, this is a bit too punchy at the moment. A little bit too vibrant. A little bit too dark. And it brings out details that I'm not really impressed with, not, not really in love with. But hold on, like I said, you first have to break the image a little bit, and then you get to experiment, and then you make it look better. I already like the color, the black on the jacket is pure black, it looks really stunning, it looks really nice. And her skin is get, it has a nice punchy look to it, she looks a little bit too bronze, a little bit too, too tanned. Especially because, well, I shot her, she's not that tan, she's got a nice fair skin and, uh, and she looks fantastic. Now, we're going to desaturate the top layer and I like to overlay that. Now, okay, cool, she looks nice, sickly, like, like it looks bad, I get it, just bear with me guys. Look. This is my way of making um, the image a little bit sharper. So, I do a high pass filter and normally around about 4 pixels to 4 this one I'm going to do four pic pixels so the way high pass filter works you choose the amount of pixels so the higher amount of pixels the way more detail is going to top and pick up so for this I want more finer details more um, I want the hair to be sharper the eyes and the lips and just the fine details just the line just to sharpen up the image if I wanted to get that grungy look that dirty look that, that, that really that like fitness level look I would do like up into the hundreds of pixels and it, like it's it's a really fantastic way of getting that that feel past but on this one she's got she's a nice fair she's a girl she you, we want her to be smooth we won't we don't want grungy on this one hey so now after this so now after i put it in the group i'll call this one normally color because it's normally what i do to just bump up the color and sharpness now i've got a preset or an action more so on my computer that smooths skin. Now if you guys want to know more about how I smooth skin and how I get the, the model's faces looking nice and like perfect without losing any of the textures of the skin is what we kind of use to just get that nice smooth skin but without losing textures we take the bumps and we get the, get the skin abnormalities away and not lose the texture of skin because if you make it smooth and you get it too smooth it ends up looking fake so if you guys want to know more about that leave a comment down below and i'll gladly make another video for you guys in a later stage okay cool action ran now we zoom in Now normally as you're doing this, you can't really tell that you're doing much. So you kind of just have to know that you're, what you're doing is it's coming out correct. So... I like to do the hands a little bit as well, just to get that. It doesn't look like you just focus heavily on her face. Maybe down your little neck. Okay, I'll have to show you. So, first glance, you can't really see much, but once you put it on and off, look at that smooth skin. Look. Come on, now, now that just looks fantastic. Come on. Okay, what else do I want to do? I'm not a fan of those dark specks right there, so I'm going to take a spot healing brush and just remove them. Now, I kind of I, I like where this this image is going. It's looking great, 
but I kind of feel like it's very flat. It's not a lot of depth to it. Even though we got that nice bo uh, bokeh background, it looks. It doesn't look bad. It like like I can't deny it doesn't look bad. But I'd like it to be a little bit more three dimensional, a little bit more. Just got that little bit more depth. So let's see what we can do for that. Um, okay, next. Always remember to make groups so you know where to go look if you feel like you've made a mistake. So smooth. And then we go duplicate it and merge. Okay. So let's bring our eyes out. What do you guys say? So this is going to look funny, but I go and I bring up curves. And that's nice. Never want to bring up bring it up just a little bit too much because then it starts looking fake you kind of want to just bring it up just enough so that it just so it blends in your the best details are subtle if you're looking to make something a little bit better make it a subtle detail now see that is not subtle so let's go to the curves just drop it down again. That's perfect. See now you got that depth in the eyes. You can, you can see the the color of the eyes, and it looks looks beautiful. Now I feel like we need to kind of put a highlight on her hair. I think that could look nice. What you guys think? Okay, so what I like to do here is I like to add a layer. Take my brush. Take a bit of white. Add it there, maybe add some at the top of the Okay, so now what we do is I like to go and make it soft light. No no, it doesn't look fantastic, but it's working progress guys, come on. So we go there. Nuts. Not a lot, it just brings that little bit of depth in, little bit. Now for this I feel like we need to kind of either brighten her up a little bit, I kind of feel like she's been losing a little bit of depth because of the brightness and darken background let's see let's see what we can do there okay make another curve bring it up oh, let's make it darker yeah let's make it darker i think dark is gonna look like right now. Let me go. control i no i think that control okay So all we do now is we just made everything in the background a bit darker and we're just painting her back in. Cool trick is just to kind of look at your layer mask, see where you've already brushed and just kind of fill in as you go along. Now see all we do is that we just create more layers and more layers and we do it in a very non-destructive way, it comes up looking really nice. And you don't just have to do big editings like this, you can do very tiny ones as well, you can do more subtle things like I feel like in this little section right over here as you guys can see it's very dark and I'd like to just bring that out a little more hmm. okay more curves let's pay attention now I always put it a little bit to the extreme because then I get to see the effect of where I'm painting because sometimes it's a, you know a good subtle image you can't see it so what I like to do is just make it just over dramatic so when I paint I can see the difference okay
Don't be afraid to just delete it and go back at it if you feel, felt like you did it, did it wrong. Okay, and sometimes if you can't find it um, nicely, if you kind of just want to get that very micro detail, like I kind of want a little bit, I like what I saw on that little mistake that I made. So don't be afraid to make a mistake, guys. It's like mistakes do really well. And I kind of like what it did on her hoodies, <clears throat> on the hoodie strings. And I kind of want to see that again. So what I do is I take, make a layer and I take just a little bit of white line on it. We do soft line and go and lower it. This is just my way of giving the model a very nice sparkly smile. It's not necessary, it's just something I like to do because sometimes that just makes the photo a little bit more. Well guys, there you have it. Today's episode. Um, it was fun. It was fun meeting up with some other photographers, just hanging out, just shooting some content and learning from each other. It was just such an awesome time. Hope you guys liked this type of um, video that I take you through a, my entire day where I, show, uh, like I shoot models and then I come home and I edit the photo and I kind of show you guys a little bit of tips and tricks of how I go through my process and how I kind of edit my photo. Well, that's all for today guys, thanks for joining me, and give this video a big thumbs up, press that notification icon down below, and subscribe if you haven't yet, it's always appreciated, it really shows me that you guys enjoy what I'm doing. If you have any other questions, leave a comment down below. If you feel like supporting me in any other way, I have a Patreon site, I take you guys for even more in depth behind the scenes of what I do, I show you guys a full shoot, a full studio shoot behind the scene, and um, you guys get to meet up with me if you feel like it, sure, I'll I drop down these type of meet meetings, these instant meetings if you guys are in the area and I'll help you guys out. You get to be in direct contact with me and I kind of share my thoughts and it's all about building a bigger community. And if you guys haven't seen it yet, I have a Facebook group. It will be also linked down below in the description and thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.